district, there is a new wing at the Superior Courthouse. It adds more courtrooms and judicial chambers. Uh, yeah, but with the added space, a problem still remains. There's not enough judges to hear cases. Our reporter, Marielle Carbone, live tonight at the courthouse. And Marielle, this has been a longstanding problem. We're talking decades, right? Yeah, Susan, it's been years since there's been a full complement of judges here at the D.C. court system, and right now they are down 10 judges across the board. Those vacancies, they lead to an array of problems in the court system. As the D.C. Superior Court celebrates one victory, the addition of six new courtrooms, a major challenge still exists, judicial vacancies. It's been like playing whack-a-mole. You solve one problem, another one pops up. And Judge Anita Josie Herring is the outgoing Superior Court Chief Judge and says the vacancy rate is a major issue. We have a responsibility to the public to dispose of the cases that come before us. Right now there are 10 judicial vacancies in the D.C. court system, eight in Superior Court, and two in the appeals court. The lack of judges paired with an increase in crime is leading to a backlog in trying and closing cases. According to the D.C. courts, the average age of a criminal case is 200 days higher than in 2019. I must note my deep concern with the long-standing judicial vacancy crisis. The holdup comes in the approval process with the Senate responsible for confirming D.C. judges. Currently, eight judges are waiting approval. So we are desperately hoping that those judges will get through. That has an impact. On judge it. Milton C. Lee Jr., the incoming chief judge for Superior Court, says dealing with this challenge is the number one focus for him as he takes over next week. The Superior Court is committed to doing what needs to be done to process cases, but it is hard to keep up the pace when we just don't have the judges uh, to do it. And Congresswoman Norton, she did put forward some legislation to try and speed up this process, specifically allowing judges to be appointed after a congressional review period instead of Senate uh, review and approval. But that bill, it is still waiting in committee. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.